What's going on guys? Today we will be reviewing Transformers Cyberverse Deluxe Class Bumblebee. So here's the figure. Red, black, blue, light blue, yellow, light gray, some more red for the symbol, a little light for the outline of the symbol. There we go. Okay. Here's the <clears throat> gun, the stinger, I should say. A lot of silver, paint, yellow, and then the peg to put it on his hand. Okay. The gun, a lot of detail on it. Same thing on the other side, it has a little magazine on it. And you can store it on the back of him as well, or you can peg it on his hand. There's little pegs on each side. He's limboing. Bro, no limbo. It looks like this. I don't know, but if you think that looks good, then it's your toy. You can put it on there if you want. I just think that's stupid looking. I will not store it like that, like ever. I will you maybe have him like hold something else like or something. But next up after that we have a blast effect. And then this is it for all he has. There it is. There's the back which you peg onto the weapon. It's rubbery. It's rubber. Really stiff rubber. There we go. You can take it and put it on the stinger. That's all it can be put on if you couldn't tell. Look like this. Shooting his sting. Now what you do, what this thing does in the show, it, when he get when someone gets shot, they like freeze. For like a couple of, like it's basically like a stunning weapon, like it stuns them. So our, now our articulation goes as follows. The doors can go like this. You can go up, you can go down. Basically any type of movement. Twist the head all the way around. It can do a little bit of like wiggles. You can go up about that far. Down about that far. Fo focus. Thanks. Okay, there we go. You can move this like this much. You can go all the way around. Like so. His arm can go up about that far. His shoulder can go in all the way back. But that's really for transformation purposes. His wrist can twist fully. You can kick up about that far. Bend about that far. That's what I'm saying. His... You can tell his limbs are not very good when it does like this. It will fall over sometimes. Like, see. Focus. Once I get you standing. Thanks. Um. His. He can twist a little bit, but that's just because of the waist. His waist can turn to full 360 as well. So there we go. Oh yeah, his arms can do this too. Like pivot up, and his feet can pivot. Like that much. That That's a lot of pivot. I like using that because sometimes my fingers, I like, I put them like sideways like this, and some of them fall over, so I like using that pivot. So, from after this is the transformation. So, let's get into this. So, what you do, take the back section and pop this all the way down. Like this. And you're going to pop up. There's a section right here that you're just going to fold out. And there's another section within that section that you're also going to fold out. Then, if we did this right, then the head will go in. And then you clamp that back up what it should look like okay 
thank you for focusing. You can put go fold in the shoulders fully. Then just that's all we can do for now. This is what it looks like the other way. Okay, now legs. We're gonna fold down the leg. We're gonna bring the section back. Then fold in the leg. Now do not fold in the section back in. Fold out the leg. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Fold out the leg. Fold out that panel. And then put in the leg. There we go. That's what it should look like. Twist the le the whole waist section all the way back. Then there's you can just put these two little legs. These legs snap them. Okay, let it focus. There we go. Okay. Now from here, you can bring in this whole leg section like this, and you can snap it. Let me show you that again. These legs fold in like this, clip in. Then his shoulders go. Wait, we should have done shoulders first. Okay, bring these legs back out. We need to do shoulders first. Wait, this. Okay. Oh, yeah, we need to take this section. Right. This is the hardest part. Getting this all aligned. Try this. <sighs> okay, there we go. There's a little peg in there that you're just going to line up on each side. You can snap those in. Okay, in this section. Oh my gosh. Let me show you. This section down. Hold that in. Hold that in. Okay, now. You can bring this whole leg section down into that. So, go to the back. Thank you. Snap that in on each side. Pop up that piece there. Make sure everything is aligned. Now for the final part. We are going to bring these, this piece down that I was trying to do. Line this up. There we go. Just there's a peg right here. There's a slot right there that we're just gonna peg that in. Okay, and there we go. So there's the car. It's rolling away. There's the car. There he is. I love the car mode. I mean, this is. I don't like the back though. I wish they'd just fill in like tail lights or something. Here we go. Here's the top. Here's the bottom. Now you can store both weapons on this for the black gun. Now go to the bottom. Don't focus. Okay, so you're gonna go to the bottom. There's a peg. You're gonna use the same peg. See, like this. There's that slot there. There's a slot on the gun. But I forget how you're supposed to do it. I'm not joking. There we go. You can just peg that on. It stays on. And for the stinger, this is the stupidest storage yet. You just put it on there. And boom. And I guess you can just put this on and just finish off the look. So there is the car, everybody. So this is basically it for the video. And I'll see you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.